Hey guys, welcome back to ForexB. And today in this video, we're going to talk about leverage. We're going to explain leverage, what leverage means, and we're going to look at different leverage ratios. And we're going to go through examples to understand how you can use leverage to increase your investment capital. So, first of all, let's see what is leverage. Leverage is basically the use of borrowed capital as an investment in order to increase the profits you can make. In real terms or in Forex, what leverage means is leverage is basically the ratio of your own funds to the borrowed funds that are provided by your broker. Okay, so there are different ratios. Uh, there are different level ratios. There's one ratio one, one ratio fifty, one ratio hundred, or one ratio four hundred. Yes, some brokers do go as high as one ratio four hundred. Okay, but one ratio one hundred is the mostly used leverage size or leverage ratio that is used mostly in forex. Now let's see what leverage actually means in your trading account when you're trading in forex. So let's say you have one thousand dollars in your account okay and right now if you use leverage and if you use one ratio 100 leverage what will happen is from one thousand dollars your investment capital can be raised to one hundred thousand dollars because you are using 100 leverage okay so Hey, again, you can see one ratio of 100 leverage means your $1,000 have been converted into $100,000 investment for you by using one ratio of 100 leverage. Okay, now it gives you room for to in order to trade big lots instead of in trading in micro lots. Now you can trade a full lot, as we're gonna see in the example of ahead. Okay. So there are different leverage ratios as I've already said. So there is one ratio two in which uh, here we have a column for our leverage ratios and here's our capital invested that is how much money we have deposited into our broker account and here's what is our purchasing power after using the leverage. So if we're basically using one ratio two with a capital investment of $1,000 your purchasing power would be two thousand dollars because one ratio two would enable you to place trades of two thousand dollars and in a similar way if you're using the leverage ratio of one ratio 150 then with a capital investment of one thousand dollars your purchasing power would be one lakh fifty thousand dollars and that is with one ratio 150 leverage now let's go towards examples and let's see how using leverage changes the game okay so here we have let's say one thousand dollars and you want to buy usd jpy pair so when we without using leverage what you can do is you can actually buy one micro lot of usd jpy with one thousand dollars okay and right now the USD JPY pair is trading at 109.47900. So with $1,000 in your account, you are able to place trade or take position for one micro lot of USD JPY. And with the movement of one pip, you can actually make or lose $0.09134. That is when you have invested one thousand dollars in USD JPY, and with the movement of 50 pips you can actually make or lose zero uh, four point five seven dollars so whenever there is one pip change either in your expected direction or in a direction that uh, is against your expected direction then you can actually make or lose zero point zero nine one three four dollars and when there is let's say movement of 50 pips you can actually make or lose 4.57 dollars now let's see how leverage changes the game okay 
now again let's say you have one thousand dollars in your account and but this time you're using leverage and you're using one ratio 100 leverage now with one ratio 100 leverage your this one thousand dollars investment would be converted into one hundred thousand dollars now you can actually buy one complete lot of usd jpy instead of buying one micro lot you can actually buy one lot of usd jpy now what has happened here is your capital was one thousand dollar right as you can see here but your broker gave you ninety nine thousand dollars in order to increase your investment capital and you can use this ninety nine thousand dollars along with your one thousand dollars to buy one lot of USD JPY. Now let's see how PIP change affects your profit or loss. With the USD JPY pair trading at 109.47900, with the movement of one PIP, you can actually make or lose now $9.134. Okay, so you can see in the previous slide we discussed with one thousand dollar and one micro lot you were actually making zero point zero nine point uh, one three four dollars but with one ratio 100 leverage your profit loss has also increased okay and with the movement of 50 pips you can make actually make and you can actually make or lose four hundred fifty six point seven one dollars now this might sound lucrative for you but as we're going to discuss that you will love using leverages as long as your predictions are turning out right and the price you predicted to go up will actually go up okay but once the price you predicted uh, that would go up starts going down then you're going to lose money as fast as well using bigger leverages okay let me go to the next slide. So here we have a quick comparison table that we have drawn between our two examples that we have discussed above in which we, uh, one of them we used leverage and in the other we did not use leverage. So for both our examples we had investment capital of $1,000. In this example we did not use leverage okay and our buying power was actually one thousand dollar and we bought one micro lot of usd jpy now with the movement of 50 pips we were making 4.57 dollars okay and now here uh, again our investment capital was one thousand dollar in the second example but this time we used leverage and we used one ratio 100 leverage now our buying power was increased from $1,000 to $100,000 which enabled us to buy one lot of USD JPY and with the movement of 50 pips we were making $456.71 okay now again as I've explained that I did not write that you'll always make money because when using leverages if your prediction goes wrong and if you put predicted that USD JPY would go 50 pips upward but instead it went 50 pips downward then you would also lose 456.71 dollars okay so as long as you're keeping the required margins which we're gonna discuss in the next video and uh, as long as you're keeping required margins you're good to go but once you are unable to maintain those margins what your broker will do is it will take back its capital that it lent you and close all your positions okay and you will be back to square one after losing your money you will make money as long as your prediction is going right okay and if your prediction goes wrong and you you and the price moves against your prediction then there's a chance for losing money as fast as well okay so i hope you like this video if you have any questions please comment down below and i would love to answer them and i would also encourage you to subscribe to our youtube channel so that you can get updates of our upcoming videos 
So you can also visit our website www.forexb.co in order to learn more about Pi section and Forex. And see you in the next video. Thank you.